my work now is uh, focused on uh, uh, studying uh, multimodal prediction models uh, to predict uh, the development of uh, some specific features uh, in Parkinson's disease. Uh, for instance, uh, in the first study, I uh, investigated uh, how MRI and together with uh, clinical features can predict the development of freezing of gait. And uh, to this aim, we recruited uh, 30 patients with the freezing of gait, 11 patients uh, uh, that we defined uh, uh, freezing of gait converters, that is, uh, uh, that are patients that uh, develop uh, freezing of gait uh, within two years, and uh, 11 uh, patients that uh, uh, do not uh, uh, develop uh, freezing over two years. Um, we acquired uh, several measures, uh, including uh, uh, functional and structural MRI measures and uh, clinical data. And uh, despite uh, these two um, groups, uh, so the uh, FOG converters and FOG non-converters uh, are uh, quite similar in, uh, uh, in terms of uh, clinical features at baseline. Uh, they already demonstrated uh, a different PIGD score, uh, that is a postural instability and gay disorder score at the Unified Parkinson disease rating scale. Uh, and this score is higher, uh, of course, in the freezing converter group. And also this group uh, had uh, a uh, um, more severe uh, dyskinesias. Uh, moreover, these subjects also present an altered uh, connectivity of uh, uh, the brain and particularly a, um, an increased uh, clustering coefficient of the parietal lobe. Uh, that is uh, a measure that uh, um, is, uh, um, represent, uh, represents how well a, a node cluster with the neighbor areas and uh, so uh, is about uh, how the, uh, this area is uh, segregated. And uh, we also noticed that um, uh, these uh, uh, features at baseline, so an higher PGD score and uh, an higher, higher dyskinesias and uh, an higher clustering coefficient in the parietal lobe, um, high, have uh, an, an accurate uh, prediction of uh, uh, freezing of gate development in the freezing of gate converter group. And uh, so this is uh, uh, important because uh, we highlight the crucial, the key role of the parietal area in this subject, so that is area that uh, uh, integrates sensory um, and motor features and uh, also is involved in uh, motor programming and uh, in uh, working memory. That are all features that can be altered in this kind of subject. Uh, indeed, freezing of gait is probably a uh, multifactorial uh, problem uh, and uh, this is important it is important to um, to predict which patients will develop a freezing of gait also in order to start as early as, early as possible uh, some uh, uh, therapies. For instance, I'm a physiotherapy and uh, I really think that uh, uh, early rehabilitation is crucial in these subjects.